Hi, welcome to this video. We're now going to look at reactivity in alkenes. So, one thing we've got to understand is that alkenes are more reactive than alkanes. So when we have our alkene, like this, and our alkane, like that, this one, uh, alkene, which in this case is ethane, ene, is more reactive than our ethane. And we're going to look at two reasons why that is. So the first reason is because it's got a weak bond. And if you watched a previous video, you'd know what that weaker bond is. So the bond that ethene has, that ethane doesn't have and it's the pi bond. So ethenes, or alkenes, have got this double bond that consists of a pi bond and a sigma bond, whereas alkanes are all just sigma bonds. And that pi bond's very weak, so it breaks very easily. So when something comes along that it wants to react with, let's say bromine, the bond breaks in the centre very easily, leaving it as just a single bond and that strong sigma bond. And the carbon can then easily react with the bromines. So there's two bromines there, one goes to one carbon, one goes to the other. So it's got a very weak bond, breaks easily so it can react with things because then the carbon wants to get up to four, uh, a full outer shell it wants to react and interact. The alkane won't do that. If we took the alkane and tried to add bromine to it, there's nothing easy for it to break for then the bromine to attach to any of the carbons. They're all bonded by very strong sigma bonds. The other reason is because of ethenes and the key term here, or the alkenes, electron density. So you look at the bonds we've got here. In our ethene we've got two electrons there, two electrons there. So four electrons in total between those two carbons. In this one we've just got two electrons in between those two carbons. So there's twice as many electrons in the alkene as there are around the alkane. And that's important because let's draw on our ethene and let's draw something that's in this case is polar. So I'm going to put hydrogen bromide which is delta positive, delta negative. Now this hydrogen bromide now if it's a long way from the alkene it won't react. However because we have positive charge here and an area of electron density here, this becomes attracted to that and moves closer. So this moves closer and then they react. And what you end up with is that weak pi bond breaking, hydrogen going to one carbon, and then the bromine attracting to the other. So we see that weak pi bond's broken, and we get hydrogen on one side, bromine on the other. This breaking down, and each going to separate carbons. So the electron density attracts. Now we've got a special term for something that's delta positive, or wants to gain a pair of electrons, or is attracted to an area of electron density, and that is electro file or light electrons. So alkenes attract electrophiles which it then reacts with. Alkanes won't attract an electrophile and it couldn't then react with it if it wanted to because it's got no uh, weak pi bonds. But this is one reason why alkenes can react a bit more as well is their area of electron density attracts electrophiles. So that and there are two reasons to learn for why alkenes are more reactive than alkanes.